Hello and welcome to the very first Yarndale Make Along with Emma. We're really excited to be starting something new and this time we're going to be making a crocheted cotton cloth. So if you can already crochet then this is the perfect project for you. It's just easy, relaxing and if you joined in with our worldwide creative project last year you probably probably already made one or two or maybe even more and if you're new to crochet well then this is the perfect first project because you can practice some easy stitches and you will have a dishcloth or a face cloth or whatever you want to use your reusable cotton cloth for um, very very soon and it doesn't have to be perfect anyhow let's get started so we've got some cotton I've got my scissors and a crochet hook and this is what we're going to make a fabulous cloth with a lovely red edge okay so the pattern starts by chaining 33 okay so if you're new to crochet you might want to watch this little bit a little bit slower or have a look at some of the fabulous other videos that there are on YouTube to help you learn. So I've done a slip stitch to, stitch to start with and then I'm going to chain. This is the trickiest bit. I'm going to chain. I'm going to chain 33. So we go one, two, three, four, Chain to start. Okay. So we started with our chain 33. We're now going to do a double crochet stitch, which if you're new to crochet, it's the easiest. Okay. So we're going to put our hook into a second chain from the hook there. So just a little bit long, not the first one, but the second one. I don't know if you can see that there. Not the first one, but the second one. So we're going to put it in through the stitch. And then we're going to hook the yarn with the hook and pull it back through that stitch. So we've now got two loops on, on the hook and then we pull our working yarn through those two, two loops. There we are. That's the first stitch. That's the first double crochet. So we're going to go into the next chain. We do the same again. So we push the hook in, we yarn over and pull it back through so that we've got two on, on the hook. Yarn over and pull it through the two stitches on the hook, uh, two loops on the hook, and we make a stitch. Okay, so we go again into the next chain. Yarn over, pull it through, get two loops on the hook, and then pull the yarn through. So we've got another stitch. And we carry it all the way along, doing the same thing. Yarn over, pull it back through. And then through the two loops to make a stitch and these are a double crochet it's called that's the english term when i first started crocheting looking at patterns it's very easy to get confused between english and american terms okay but we are using english terms so this is a double crochet it's double because you've got two loops you make two loops on your hook so there you go that's double and then you pull it through so we go all the way along. This is the trickiest bit. So if you're just starting out on your crochet journey, don't worry if it's fiddly because it is fiddly and it's fiddly even if you've had lots and lots of practice and it's the bit that most people go, ooh, and it starts to curl a little bit and that's absolutely fine, not a problem at all. Just pull my yarn a bit so it's loose and I've got plenty of working yarn so we're going through we're going all the way along this chain so we started with a chain of 33 which means we're going to do 32 double crochets all the way along so it's looking a bit like a 
baby worm or snake. Once you've done the first couple of rows, you start to get into a rhythm. And before you know it, you'll have a very handy cloth. Perfect for um, listening to the radio, audio book, watching a film. Or just gazing out of the window if you're at home and looking at the, the clouds racing past. Right, we're almost, almost at the end of the first row, and that is the hardest bit. Definitely the hardest bit. I've got three more stitches, maybe four, all the way to the end. There we go, that's the last one. Okay, when we get to the last one, okay, we've gone all the way along. So if I show you, we've got a row of double crochet into our chain. We've gone all the way along. We're going to do a chain and turn. We're going to turn it so it's going the other way. It doesn't matter if you if you turn and then chain or chain and then turn. It really doesn't matter. Okay, but basically you do a chain at the end of your row and then you turn the work and you're going to work back along into the top of the stitches. Now, not the very first one here. We're going to go into the second, second stitch from the hook there. Okay, so we're going underneath both of the, um, of the chain at the top of the stitch. There's like a little chain at the top of, this, of, a, of a stitch. So we're going into that, we're working into that stitch. Okay, so we yarn over and pull through. I'm just going to go back across and you'll see how it's actually easier to go across the second time than it was the first. A little bit more to hold on to between your finger and your thumb. Going all the way across. It doesn't look much like a dishcloth at the moment, or a face cloth. But it does very, very quickly work up into a square, and that's what we're aiming for, a square shape. So in total, in total, we'll have about 34 rows. That'll be about, about what you need to make it square. It doesn't matter exactly how many rows you do. But somehow a square seems quite pleasing to the eye. And you can marvel at how lovely and neat all your stitches are and the nice edges that they make. So we're almost at the end of the second row. Okay, and the last stitch is one that's a little bit tricky. You just need to work it, wiggle it into the end, and then you'll get a nice, neat edge along the edge of your cloth. It doesn't really matter exactly where it goes. It's a cloth. It's for, it's for cleaning things and wiping. And so I've done my chain and I've turned, and I'm going back across. So this is my third row. See, I'm already on my third row. And it's already starting... To flatten out a bit and not be quite such a curly worm. Doesn't matter if it's curly, because it will flatten out. We had people from all over the world last year who sent in an amazing, amazing collection of cloths from, to raise money for Martin House. All different colours, all different designs. Truly amazing. You can see how they could get quite addictive actually. Right, I'm almost at the end of my third row. I'm 
Inhale, lingam there. So work into the top of each stitch. And on both of the loops. All the way to the end. Last one. Okay, so starting a little bit of dishcloth going on there. Right, so we've got to the end. So then when you get to the end, you do a chain and you turn. And it's as simple as that. You just keep going with your double crochets. 32 every row for about 34 rows. Okay, so that has taken me about three quarters of an hour of lovely soothing stitches that have been really relaxing and I'm now on my very last row. I'm using, or I have been using, still using, a four millimetre hook and I'm using King Cole Cotton Soft, which is lovely soft cotton. There are lots of different kinds of cottons you can, you can, you can buy, um, but I particularly like this because it's lovely and soft. Um, and the pattern is available on our website. I'm just going to the end of this row and then we get to the end of the row I'm going to finish off and I'll show you how to do a border. You, you can do, you can go crazy with borders actually, you can do all sorts of fancy things. Um, I'm going to show you a simple border. Um, that's part of the pattern on the website um, that just gives a lovely edge to the cloth and adds a bit of colour because who likes colour? We do at Yarndale. All right, just a couple more stitches to go. Almost there. Look there. And the last one, the tricky one in the end, just gives it a neat edge. Now to finish it off, if you're new to crochet, you yarn over and you pull all the way through, go to loop and then I'm going to snip it off and pull all the way through like that and finish the knot and then you won't unravel, you won't lose all that hard work. Okay, for the border, I've got a lovely red. Make sure your cloth has got the lines, a bit like the, the lines in a book. So the writing in your book on a page, going horizontally, going across. OK, and we're going to start with the border. We're going to go along the top edge, down the side, across the bottom and back up the other side to finish our square. So to start, top right hand corner, I'm going to put my hook into the corner like that all the way through, just through the top of the stitch, the corner stitch, it doesn't even matter exactly which one, but as close as you can get to the corner there. And then with my contrasting colour for the border, I'm going to pull a loop through. So I put my hook into my, into my um, well, sort of through my yarn, I suppose, through a loop in my yarn and pull it through, whoops, dropped it there. I'm going to pull it through so I've got a red loop. Okay, so I can, I can only use that as my working stitch. Okay, and I'm going to start just by doing a chain just to secure it. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over, so both the tail and the working yarn. So I've got two strands there and I'm going to pull those through that slip stitch to make a chain and that just secures it there. Okay. So the borders, lovely and simple. Um, we're going to do two double crochets into this corner. One, two, 
and then we do two chains one two nice easy counting then two more double crochets into the same corner stitch it's getting quite tight here but it will make a lovely neat corner one two double crochets then we're going to work across the top of our stitches and we're going to do a double crochet into each stitch across the top of our cloth so underneath both both top bits of the stitch it looks a bit like a chain remember we're going to go across so in each stitch we're doing a double crochet and very quickly if i just whiz across with a few you'll see uh, what it looks like let me show you okay you start to get quite a neat edge okay so we go all the way across to the next corner when we get to the other corner we do exactly the same in the corner we do that two double crochets two chains two double crochets and that's our kind of corner stitch it makes the corner, it gives it a nice firm, firm edge and we'll turn and we'll go down the side of the cloth and it's a little bit different down the side of the cloth because the stitches are a bit different, they're longer. So we're almost at the corner, almost there. Oh, look at all those lovely stitches across the top. How lovely does that look? Right, so we're in our corner now, so we're going to do two so one, two, two chains, one, two, two double crochets, one, two. Now, down the side, this is where it's a little bit different. If I show you the one that we had to start with. So that is my, my top edge. Okay, then down the side, if you look, the stitches are a little bit thicker. OK, and that's because we do two double crochets into one stitch and then miss a stitch, OK, because the stitch is longer. So I'll show you. So we're going down the side. We're going to do two stitches into the edge of the first stitch. So we're going to go one, two. Oops, I've got that tail there. That doesn't matter because I'll just stick behind. OK, so I've done two into there. I'm not going to do them into there. I'm going to go into the next space. OK, you'll soon start to see a bit of a pattern on the edge. If you pull it like that, you can see where the edge of the stitch is. So not that one, but the next one. OK, so we do two into there. So we'll do one, two. Miss that one. One. Two. All the way down the side. I don't know if you've had time to do any lots and lots of making this these last few months when we've all been staying at home. It's really good to have something on the go, I find, because even if you feel like the day's been, I don't know, long and maybe not seeing anybody. If you're making something, you've got something to show at the end of the day, something tangible. And something useful if you've made a dishcloth or a face cloth. Here we go. Down the side. So I'm doing two into a stitch, remember, then missing a stitch. I'm going into the next stitch. And I'm almost back down at the corner. Almost there, and then simply go across the bottom into every stitch. And it looks quite obvious when you get there, you can see how different it looks. You can see how it it, it does need a different, different style. So we've gone there, almost there, into my corner. Right, there's my corner. So 
I'm going to do my two, which is what I've been doing all the way down that side anyway. Two stitches, two chains. And turning around the corner, two stitches into the same corner stitch. And we're going to go one in each of the stitches across. You can see how it's different. See the stitches are closer together. I think it's really nice on a piece of crochet if you if you put an edge on it and you put a border because the stitches can be a little bit uneven. Doesn't matter, but you can neaten it up. Also, probably makes it last a little bit longer if you've got a strong edge on it. Because certainly the cloths that I've got have been used and washed over and over again. And they're still going strong. And the thing is, if you've made it yourself as well, and um, it has a little bit of a breakdown or a a failure in the stitches then you, you'll know how to fix it you can you can darn it can't you um i think we've all got a lot more used to mending things and just keeping things going for that little bit longer it's amazing how long how long these dishcloths last Ooh, i've missed one there can you see I've not quite got the right, doesn't look quite right, so I'll just pull it back. And I'll go back, I'm almost at my last corner, look. So literally, it's just down the other side. And then in just an hour, I've got a fabulous cloth. To either use or to gift. Lovely getting post, isn't it? Right, so we're going down the side. So remember, it's it's two, miss a stitch, and then it's the next stitch, and you do two. Miss the stitch, next stitch. Sometimes you have to wriggle it in on the side. Okay, right, we're nearly there. How exciting. So I've had an hour of peace. An hour just to me, or just for me. And boy, does it feel good. It's funny actually when I'm knitting, I can relax so much if I'm doing simple knitting, simple knitting, not a complicated following a pattern kind of knitting, but if I'm knitting a scarf or going round and round on the on the um, ankle part of a sock, I can almost fall asleep. It's so relaxing. It didn't always used to be like that. I'm by no means an expert and I've just practiced and practised and practised. And that sense of calm and achievement when you've actually made something yourself. I still get a real buzz from it. I love it. Right, we're almost there. So, I hope you've enjoyed our very first Yarndale Make Along. And please do share all those fantastic cloths that you make on social media and if you're not on social media send us an email send them to us and we'll we'll share them okay send them to emma at yarndale.co.uk okay and then you just need the end sewing in on there look and ta-da we've got a fabulous dishcloth look at that ta-da Thank you very much for joining. Bye.